Welcome to Auto Club for the 10th race of the season. Here's the qualifying grid for today's race, and now we'll take you to trackside. Sam Curtis, of course, is the pole sitter, and Kyle Thomas starts in second to front row. Start your After a wild race at Charlotte with so many cars in defense and Flipping and going into the air and slamming the wall pretty hard. Hopefully Auto Club is better. But we have seen the racing here before and most of the time these drivers just go crazy. They race way too hard and then they cause a big wreck. For example, First lap, five wide, and one Rex. Hayden Chung took a huge hit in the Skittles Rookie Series in the OA car. And green flag's out. Or green flag, and yeah. A few drivers flew into the fence one time, and see, you look at that. Five wide already. Well, actually, it's four wide, but they're, they're gonna go five wide sooner or later. Right, right there. Whoa, a little bit of contact. Five, four, it's still four. Almost five. Look at that. Sam Curtis has to block three rows of drivers just so he can keep the lead. Looks like he's gonna lead the first lap and look at them go! That's crazy. And they still haven't wrecked yet. And here comes Nick Purcell's on the bottom. Side by side for the lead, entering turns one and two. Oh, that 14 on the high side right there, he might get the lead. Three wide for the lead, look at that 14 shoot through the high side. He's trying to clear that 19, he almost got it. Well, one car actually, that's a three car. Oh, got two cars scraping the wall, this can get big right here. Oh, whoa, that was close, and a 14 is still scraping it. He's still scraping it. Might have a tire down or something. And still haven't wrecked yet. It's amazing. Purcell is the leader. I think that 12 car. Yes, the 12 car as well is in the wall. A lot of drivers going top to bottom. Sam Curtis is one of them. Those two drivers scraping the wall. And oh, now the 9 car who flipped over at Charlotte. Well, oh, got right into the 3 and back into the wall he goes. He's going to fall back to last. Here comes the 19. And here comes the 18 as well. Takes the bottom. Tries to. Can't seem to get it. He's just going to tuck right back in. Bartel in fifth, just a really small gap, closed it, and oh, got right into 19, well, he's still sideways, and here comes the 13, of, uh, Ryan, oh, there we go, there we go, I think that's the two, or the, oh, whoa, 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 oh, no, that's the two car, again, second race in a row, Timothy Needham as well as wrecked hard. Caution's out for the first time. Sam Curtis is the leader. Let's take a look at the replay. Take a look here. Uh, let's see what happened. So he went up. Yep. I think because of that arrow loose or something. I think that's arrow loose. I don't know. He just went up the hill. Got into a driver and then. Ugh. What a big hit. Look at that 21's car's tire. Just flew into the air. Back onto the track. And that true car, rewinded spectator cam. See how high that tire flew. And look at that violent roll and twirling back on the wheels. These two drivers, their day is done. And I'll take you back to the restart. Here we go for the restart. Getting ready for it. 21 drivers on the track. Waiting for the pace car to pull in say that at every race. And 
there goes the pace car and we're getting ready for our first restart of the race. I mean, here we go, green flag. Some people look, but they don't pull out. 5 and the 27, the 6, now the 25 to the bottom. 3 wide almost. Single file. Here comes the 7 into the turns. He's looking. Can't seem to make it just yet. He's gonna tuck right back in. Side by side for now. No three wide action just yet. They're gonna get some maybe. Nope. But Ian Dutta's trying to make the move on Bartel. Oh yeah, I just noticed something. Oh well. I'm gonna keep some of these drivers out. Just noticed that they haven't been commenting. And seven. He's still in second. Well, he fell back just a little bit. Here comes the 26 at Edcal. In third. Looks to the inside. Got a few drivers trying to go three wide back there. Not quite. Colin Martel trying to get fourth. 13. Trying to hang on, but he's going to get passed by a lot of drivers, looks like. Maybe not. Well, we got another car in the wall. I think that's the... Oh, no. It's this time it's a 10. It's not a good season for him. He was so close to a win. Dominated the whole race, but one little tap cost him the whole race. Ed Kell took the win, and now he's the leader. who's in second in the point standings oh it cut the drop back just a little bit whoa look at that seven big run another car on the wall I think who's that 20 car Gerard Sam Curtis back in the lead the seven cars trying to get the lead Bartel close to win at Iowa but flipped over at the end and he's still trying to get his uh, racing career back in order because it hasn't been going good for a very long time. He had two wins in the Nationwide Series but did not make the chase though. Nope, now he got the 26th in the wall. Well, bouncing off. Whoa, just missed it. Made some contact. They're going to keep it rolling, of course. Three wide for second, maybe four wide. That's four wide, it's gonna cause a big wreck. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, there they go, there they go, there they go. Can they save it? They did. They saved it. No caution, no caution. Now the seven has a huge lead. That eight car just made it four wide. And then I think that might have caused a wreck. The five car moves to second. Almost got another caution, but they all saved it. Amaz amazing. That's incredible. Well, everyone's trying to catch the 13 now going down pit road. Looks like he's the only one. Got some three wide. Oh, four wide. Almost. Wow, we're actually for a few seconds. Here comes Fisher. On the bottom trying to get past Dion Scott. The drivers are catching the number seven car, Nick Purcells. Got three wide for a second. A up top, five in the middle, 18 on the bottom. Whoa, a little bit of close, a little bit too close maybe. That just forces the eight all the way to the top. It could be a good thing though. Uh, maybe not. Maybe when the weather is a bit more cloudy, the higher lane is usually better. Five car looking in the middle once again. Ian Tata has cleared them, I believe. Almost. Maybe. Almost. Deion Scott making it three wide. Amanda Torrance on the high side trying to steal second back. Looks like they tied. Good day. Nope, not quite. Whoa. So one caution and one caution only. We almost had another wreck, as you know that. 
13 of course is back on track with the broken wing still only two drivers out of this race no one has blown up or anything but oh 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 caution 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 cautions out cautions out the 14 and the who's that red car 10 thought that was a 9 or something the 9's over there of course Caution's out for the second time. Let's take a look at the replay. So the 14 and Kyle Thomas all the way up top. Probably lost grip or something. Scrapes the wall. Bounces right off. Into Chris Kyle and that whoa. Got airborne. And whoa, Tom Gerard tends to scrape the wall just to miss that. Heavy hit again for Kyle Thomas. And once again he's gonna have to sit out of this. I mean no, not sit out. Uh have to pull this car behind the wall and now to get back to the restart alright here we go two other drivers behind the wall of course only one driver is a lap down but of course we'll not start on the inside because we have less than 10 laps to go we're gonna restart with five laps to go and getting ready for the second restart Green flag. Oh, Ian Dutta, terrible start. Seven pole away. Here comes the eight to the inside, still trying to get second. Fish is on top as well. The 18's getting the advantage on the high side right there. The 34 hoping the same, almost. Oh, Neon's got one to block that six. I can tell. Hell, everyone can tell. The 18 up top. The 8 car coming up fast. Oh, got a car around. Got a car around. That's the 4. I believe. Oh, no. Race is over. Race is over. Let's take a look. Zachary Robinson. Charlotte winner. The three car got right into the back of him and spun him. Locks up the brakes, of course, but then the 20 nowhere to go gets right into the three. The 11 gets involved. And then. That's what, of course, and the other three spin out while the four car drives away. Yeah. Another terrible finish to uh, this season. I don't know how many races we've ended this under caution, but there it is. Checkers in yellow. Nick Purcells wins at Auto Club. Here's the rest of the was it race results. And that's it. Took your victory lane. Here are the point standings after race 10. Folks still leads it, followed by Bar Hunters, Bartel, and Curtis remain in their spots. Nick Prestles goes up 4 spots. DJ Curtis, Noodles remain in 6 and 7. Thomas down 3. Pusher up 2, and Hayden Chunk continues to drop down 2.